So in this lesson, we're going to be going over our global footer settings. Um, we're going to customize our footer through our home page, but once we customize it, that footer uh, will be available in all of these website pages. So I'm logged into Kajabi under Website Design. We're going to go to Home and we're going to click Customize. Okay, in our Sections tab, uh, we already configured the header in a previous lesson, so we're going to scroll to the very bottom and you're going to see Footer. So let's click on Footer. And you're going to see that we've got the footer down here. So I've already configured my footer, but I'm going to walk you through how I configured it. And uh, you can go from there. So the footer text color I have is white. So um, the text color here is white. The copyright text color. So here's the copyright I put in white. The powered by Kajabi I put in tan. So you can click here. So you can choose any color. If you want a specific color, you can click on the color wheel. You can put in the hex code and it'll go to whatever color you want. And then the footer background, I use the blue from my logo um, so it would match the look and feel of my site. Okay, so once you've gone through your footer color settings, then you get to add content. So the first thing that I put in is the copyright. So to add that, you could click add content, click copyright. I've already got it in there, so click on that. And normally it'll just say kajabi.com, so you replace it with your website. So I've got jordanoutside.com, and it automatically puts in the copyright symbol, uh, the year, and then it puts in that jordanoutside.com. So once you've got that, then the next thing that I put in is a link list. So you can go to add content, click link list. A link list is just another way of saying navigation. Um, so let's click on the link list. And this is where I put in my footer menu. Um, so you can click on your drop down and you can choose um, the menu that you've created. So I've got two different footer menus. I've got footer and then footer without contact page. Um, in this case, I do want the contact page, so I'm using my footer menu. And if you needed to create um, a menu for your footer, you can click this edit link list, which will take you directly there, or you can get out of this. Let's go back. Let's go to sites. Click design. And then you'll see navigation right here. So if we click on navigation, and you've got your default menus, and you've got your custom menus. So under my default menus, I've got my footer uh, with my contact page, privacy page, terms page, and disclaimer page. If I wanted to add another page, I would just click this add. I could add a product, a page, or a link. Um, so once you have that set up, then you can add that footer in. So let's go back to design. Let's go back to customizing our home page. We're in this sections tab. Let's go back down to footer. And we're working on our link list. So once you've put in the menu and you've created the menu, then you can decide when someone clicks on one of these links, do I want it to open in a new tab or go directly there? In this case, um, I'll just let it go directly there, so I'm not going to check that. And then the link color. And then the vertical alignment, I can do a row or a column. So if I switched it to a column, it would go up and down versus a row. And in my case, I like the row, so I'm going to keep it there. Then the next thing you have is the desktop layout and your mobile layout. So if I click on desktop layout, it's just asking me how I want the alignment of the text. I'm going to leave it to the right. And the mobile layout, uh, I'm going to leave it centered. So once I finish that, I always want to make sure I just click the save button to make sure all those uh, changes were saved. And let's go back. So the next thing that I have are my social icons. As I mentioned in a previous lesson, I don't put my social icons in the header. Uh, I put them in the footer, so once they're at the bottom of the page, if they haven't taken action, this is where um, I'm okay with them leaving my site and going to check out my different uh, social profiles. So to add that, you click Add Content, go to Social Icons, go back, and click on Social Icons. So I've got it to open in a new tab. So I want my website to stay front and center, um, but if they're going to go see my Facebook or Instagram, they can open that in a new tab. And then I've got my social icon colors as white. So you can see like the Facebook symbol is white or the YouTube symbol is white. And the social icon background color is the red from my logo. Then I have the choice of a social icon background style. So I have round, but let's say I wanted to switch it to square or 
I could do none, just like that. So uh, for me, I'm using the round, but you can choose uh, whichever preference you like. And then you just put in your URL. So for Facebook, I put in my facebook.com forward slash Jordan outside, Instagram.com forward slash Jordan outside, YouTube.com forward slash Jordan outside, Pinterest. And you can see that uh, you could put in Twitter, Google Plus, Vimeo, GitHub, iTunes, LinkedIn, SoundCloud, Yelp, Tumblr, Slack, Flickr, Dribbble. So you have quite a few different options for your social profiles. For me, I put in the ones that I use the most, and obviously you'll need to set up your own social profiles um, you know, to be able to put these in. So once you've got that all set up, you click the Save button. Then let's go back. Okay, so we've got the copyright, link list, and social icons. Uh, if you look at add content, you could also add your logo as a fourth thing. Um, I don't think that's necessary. I've already got the copyright with, um, with the name of my site, so I'm not adding a logo, but if you wanted to, you could do that. Lastly, we've got our desktop layout, our mobile layout, and typography. So let's click on desktop layout. So if we did not want the footer showing, we could hide it. And then uh, we could also choose a vertical layout just for the desktop. Um, I leave these unchecked. I like the way it's already set up. And then with the mobile layout, um, the only choice here is just to hide the footer um, if you're on a mobile phone or tablet, but in my case, I want the footer to show. And lastly, we've got the typography, and this is the size, right? So on the desktop, I'm choosing 18 pixels uh, for the size. If I wanted to change that to, for example, 24 pixels, uh, it gets really big, but 18 pixels looks good in the footer. And then the mobile size, I keep at 16 pixels. So once I've got those uh, settings all set up, I click the Save button. Okay, and now the footer is set up. So if I get out of this, go back to Sites, click on Design. So now the footer is set up for the home page, for the library, store, login, for all of these different pages, um, the footer is going to be there. And then you'll have the choice on each page if you want to turn the footer off or or leave it on. So that's how you set up your footer and it's a global setting, meaning that it's gonna be on all of these pages, uh, which is a good thing. And uh, that's it for setting up your footer. I'll see you in the next lesson.